Okay, so let's have a look here. Uh, my new, the new plugins out. So uh, let's make a deck. This time we're making it for the conflict of the Karak. So let's just close everything off, and we're up to the conflict. So we've got quite a few new things in conflict of the Karak, namely one of the most powerful heroes in the game, good old Bilbo. Crazy powerful character. So let's uh, let's uh, have a look here. We definitely want Dune here in this deck because he is incredibly powerful. Uh, we need to have a discard condition for those sacked cards. So I think that it's pretty important to have a law character of some sort. Now, I wouldn't mind Berivore, but I think I'm going to go with Bilbo. And why don't we finish up with hmm when the hell is Prince the Prince coming I guess he's in the next one well we're a little low on questing power I think we'll take Bilbo because he is so awesome Lee awesome actually I think we might just take Denethor I mean, you can't really go wrong with Denethor, can you? He's such a good card. Okay, so we're going to go Denethor, Bilbo, and done here. Which gives a starting threat of 25. Okay, so let's have a look here. Uh, well, we're going to have our Splash. We're going to have our uh, Leader Slip Splash, as always. So, I'm going to put in three of them, three of them, and three of them, and three of them. We're going to cut these down, but uh, this is just to get us going. And three of them. We're obviously going to take three. We're obviously going to take one of these spirit, uh, one of these uh, resources. What are they called? Uh, songs. And we're gonna take three Gandalfs, of course. So that is already 19 cards. So obviously we're gonna cut that down. What else have we got? We definitely need these guys. Ooh, map makers. Damn sexy. We're gonna take some map makers. We're gonna take some of them, and we're gonna take some of them. There's our questing power. Uh, now we need some fodder as well as some control. So we're obviously gonna take. We don't have Eleanor in this one, so we're going to take the one revealed. We'll take uh, Tombs as always. Put a character from play just in case. Oh, we're not going to need that because we've got Frodo, don't we? No one's ever going to die. But we are going to have problems with our uh, threat, so we need the Tombs. I might take uh, one of these as well. Strider's Path. I never really use this card. I've heard it has some good things though. And what do we want attachment wise? Well, I mean, we obviously want the standards, don't we? I mean, you see 
definitely want you to see. Ooh, a burning brand comes out in Kata. Nice. I do have the filters on, don't I? Yes, I do. Well, burning brand, definitely getting that. Uh, now this condition here, uh, Dark Knowledge, I really, really like this card. I didn't like this card at first, but I'm starting to get more and more into it. Especially when you're running a control deck and you've got Eleanor, because you don't, you don't really tap Ele Eleanor to quest, so it's always going to be... So you don't really worry about the minus one threat, uh, Will. Okay, so what else do we've got here that we quite like? Yeah, so I like that, so I like this, I like this... Sixty three are on already. Wonder how we're we doing for allies. We are very, very light on allies. Well, we want uh, ranges as always. I think that's about it. And I think. I want some healing, but I might use self-preservation instead. There we are, I've got self-preservation already in there. So what are we are, 66, so this is a little bit heavy. Now, do we want more than one of these attachments? Oh, wait, we forgot to put on... Uh... Oh, no, yeah. I think we might uh, might put in two of these attachments. And three. No, we're gonna put one, one. There we are, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so. That's quite a lot of crap. Let's have a look here. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so what have we got? I guess we can drop that by one. We want that, we definitely want that. We definitely want that. Let's drop it by. And we've got to leave that on three because we need to make sure that draws. Definitely need that. I really do want this, but I guess I can. I guess I can get rid of. Uh, well, actually, this actually wouldn't be very. Yeah, well, I don't know. Forest Snare is a very, very strong card for this particular quest. So we've got Protector of Lorien. Now, I'm not a big fan of this card. Let's just remove it. Self-preservation. Sonic Kings. Sneak attack. Yes, we need that. Cancel when revealed. Cancel shadow effects. Now, I think I'm going to get rid of that. That is a very, very good card, but... I find that often, especially in solo games, when you're using all your resources every turn, it's hard to actually have the spare resources to cast that. Why has this uh, got a little question mark? Why has that got like a little... Uh, clicking on this thing, does what does that mean? Why has this got a... I guess, I guess it's got a rule correction, because there was a rule correction done on this card. I'm not quite sure what that... Exclamation mark means. 
Greeting, Will of the West, Boyon's Hospitality. Well, we're still like 10 cards too heavy. Uh, we can probably do with only one map maker. Conditions we definitely need. Now, I can't remember the encounter deck. Does the encounter deck have... Much that once was is lost. Uh... For none now live who remember it. Do do Okay, let me just have a look at the encounter deck. Oops, it's still downloading cards. If I remember correctly, when revealed Yeah, there isn't discard attachment cards. So we can get rid of this guy. Boom, there's a three slots freed up. Okay, so we only need to get rid of six now, so we're looking a little bit better. So one reveal, definitely on that. I guess I could get rid of these guys. Three more cards. I need to get rid of three more cards. We can get rid of one of these. Oh, well, I suppose I can get rid of this guy. We're definitely not going to be cycling. We do have Bilbo running, but I don't think we're going to be cycling. Hmm. One, one, one. So we've only got three questing power at the beginning. If we don't get a... We're going to have a little bit of a problem if we don't pull a good hand. Let's see how well we go. I think I'll just get rid of this one. We don't need Born's Hospitality. I mean, our heroes only have like a couple of points of damage each. Oh wait, we're not using Bilbo. We're not using... What? I thought I put... I thought I put uh, Frodo in there. Uh, I'm actually going to play with Frodo. Instead of Denethor. Just for fun. Let's get the hobbits out, shall we? It's a spirit. I think I'm going to have to go with Denethor. Then I'll put in uh, Glorfindel. A very, you know, I've never used this guy. 29, that's ridiculously high th questing threat though, isn't it? He does have three will though, that's pretty crazy. No, we're going to put in I'm going to put in Frodo, just for fun. Because I'm putting in Frodo, I'm going to have to... Get out of the way, cat. I'm going to have to put in a second Law Song. Which means I've got to take out one more card. 